Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to SEMA Day 2. Josh and Mike are in the background. Right now we are walking to the convention center and I am exhausted. All right, the move for today is more lanyards, new Toyo pins, and a GoPro. That's the move today. Also tonight we have the vinyl wrap party and I'll probably do two vlogs today. Vlog of SEMA, vlog of the vinyl wrap party and then we will go from there. These boots are meant for bucking. Bucking nugget, who la boo. Just give me a ride, dude. So everyone, right now, we're kind of doing the same thing. The convention center's not opened up yet, and these are the cars that are outside that we can look at before the doors open. So right now, we're kind of doing some things and just kind of checking out those cars and then waiting for the door. Back to the future. Take me back, doc. Oh, he even got the hoverboard in the back. The gravitational pull is heavy. Is it? Go, go, go. Badge it out, guys. Thank you. Badge Thank you. Thank you. Versus yesterday, we had a plan of going to check everything out, kind of getting a feel where everything was at. But today, the move is going to get Toyo pins, win a GoPro, 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 GoPro. And then we are going to look for some flooring for Mike's shop eventually. That might be the move, but we'll kind of just go from there. Unfortunately, we went to the Toyo booth and they're not releasing pins till 10 o'clock. So, Mike wants me to show the vlog. Holy TRD. Let's get an interior shot. Holy shit. Holy, holy new NSX. Yep. GT3 Evo. Look at all that carbon. This thing's crazy. Need for speed call, they need their car back. All right guys, so honestly the move for SEMA, since I've been here since day one, and I think Mike and Josh can kinda help me out on this, get here early as you can. Because honestly, as you guys can see, like no one is in the walkways, and you guys can honestly look at all the cars versus coming at one or two extremely late to the show, and there's so many people, you're so bunched up, and you really can't get close to the cars or see the cars like I'm doing right now. All right, guys, so walking in the Toyota booth, of course, you would see all the 2020 Supras, but this one honestly stands out. They kind of have this one on the show pad. They have the Mark IV wing on top, then the Mark IV of tail lights. And honestly, I don't mind that concept on the new Supra. I like how they kind of threw it back and added those old features on the Mark V. Schema day two, we just entered for the GoPro contest. That is at three o'clock today. Hopefully me or one of the guys can win a GoPro. Race deck garage floors. Now at race deck, Mike and Josh are talking with a representative. Mike wants to redo the floors in the shop. Um, unfortunately, he doesn't want to do epoxy or anything like that, kind of like a coat, because if he decides to upgrade or move shops later down the road, he can't take the floor with him. So it'd be easier to get these decks that are movable and then just put them in the new shop versus going with epoxy that's stuck there. You know what I mean? Okay, guys, so here's some better examples. Yeah, like the gray, the neon green, orange, tan, purple, all those options for your shop or whatever needs you would need this for. outside of the convention center. Huge shout out to Melanie from Race Decks for working with Mike. She said that she will be talking to him later next week to work out some deals. I definitely think it is beneficial for Mike, if, especially if he buys now. He could always wait to buy some more or finish the whole shop later on. 10 o'clock, day two. Boom, this is probably being a giveaway. I think I already have this one. Damn, they're working on this engraving while we're waiting for monsters. But this guy is just, steady hand work is crazy. Regular as well. Okay. Have a great day. Perfect, thank you. Woo! Got one. Got our monsters, now we can get some. Boom! Flat tops, burgers and shakes. I need a classic burger. Number 41. 41. Unfortunately, that burger did not make it to see camera. That was the first meal of the day. But right now, we are on the outside, in the outside exhibit tent. So, in the tent outside. And right in here, they have like Recaro, Fast and Furious stuff, tools, just kind of random things. And we're just gonna see what they have in here. What is an industrial rhino? Look at this thing. This thing's ready for anything. I really do like that it does have two people and then you have all the space in the back, kind of like a mini truck bed for all your camping and wilderness needs. 
we are in the overland experience it's kind of more of traveling and camping needs we figured that we would change up the content for you guys and kind of change it up from yesterday what we have going on tonight and compared to tomorrow I and mean, we can also see what else is here at SEMA versus just only trucks cars and jeeps and stuff like that oh well, got TEs on them has yes got got has got it does have T37 XT's look at that the extreme terrain runner Attention to detail. How long have you been working on it? Just this morning. Just this morning? Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. Well, you're doing a great job, man. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Always, always. Stepping into the Recaro booth. Maybe I can get me a new pair of seats for one of the cars. Oh, oh. oh my god. This is so secure. Oh, I would just fall asleep in my car. Oh, some nice butt cushions. <laughs> I should have bought a Volkswagen so truck. <laughs> I should have bought it. <laughs> Look at this thing. The mesh wheels. Oh, it's the air in the back. Oh, damn. <sighs> damn it. We're taking a breather until we can go to the Toyo booth and get another pin for 11 o'clock. What's up, man? How are you? Nice to meet you. We brought you this. It's cold. It is cold, of course. Wow. TJ, this is my, this is my buddy Mike. This is my buddy Josh. We gotta let you know right now. We have a mutual friend that looks exactly like you. They told you this last year, and he literally looks like your cousin, probably, man. These guys are. These guys were giving me so much shit yesterday. Like every time I tried meeting you, you either took a phone call or like you were you're like, oh no, this guy's the last person. Yeah, Tuesday. The week is of my meetings. Absolutely busy day, yeah. busiest day. <laughs> it's like every hour on the hour, I'm like at a different spot. So like Tuesday's are always busy. Oh for sure. So it's like if, so, if, if, if I was there and I had to call, I'm sorry. So. Oh no, you're straight, dude. We're not worried about it. We're like, we'll we'll figure it out. Oh well, yeah, that's why I'm trying to get these science buses as soon as I can. Hell yeah. Cool. My son went there. You're losing your voice. I lost it yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's like, "What are you sitting?" I'm like, "No." My fucking voice took a hike. I've been like slowly in the back today. I woke up this morning and I was like, "Okay, I'm not gonna say anything until like, I have to." I went downstairs, ordered my Starbucks, and I spoke. I was like, "Oh fuck, I'm still." So You're like, "Don't talk to me." I just point to what you want. Uh, <laughs> don't talk to me till I get my coffee. Yeah, yeah dude, this super turned out awesome. Love the kit. Uh, tandem kit is like a little too aggressive for me. I think that flows with the body. Yeah, I, I uh, talked about that wing too. Yeah, the wing is like a fucking favorite thing. guys just met TJ Hunt very very unexpectedly we were in the Toyo line waiting for pins and we ended up meeting TJ Hunt huge shout out to TJ Hunt me and him were actually talking about vlogging advice and I would never think that that would happen today but I didn't shit the bed I finally met TJ Hunt we talked super cool dude super humble and that's exactly what this is all about all right guys so right now we are in the convention center again and then we are on to the next destination we made it to the top level which is off-road and trucks mostly jeeps trucks anything like that they have a lot of accessories like racks um campers tents all right guys we are at the hawk designs booth uh we are showing support to mike's brother and this company they did a lot of the metal fab work on it they did like the fenders the bumpers um they even did the swap in here so right now we're just showing them kind of a bit of love and stopping and see what they did to the jeep gotta stretch it out daily you see my stretches oh yeah you feel a burn me too asima it's getting the best of us get in there boys nice and deep uh, push the leg down push the leg down <laughs> okay let go <laughs> help him out help him out <laughs> Go, Josh, go. Get in there, man. Take a picture with him. Go. 
Perfect. Oh, we need another hot dog, boys. Add another monster. It's getting hot. But I'm down to spend nine dollars on that. Another goal is set. Got a second pin for the day. We'll hung out with TJ Hunt. Now we are gonna try and look for the Hoonigan pad and get another hot dog. What? We know what. Gotta watch initial D. Find out. Oh my God. No, it's Watch hyperdrive. No, it's the, no. the motor's in the front. It's rear wheel drive. Oh. The Hoonigan pad. Look at all that rubber. So we found out we weren't supposed to be in the Hoonigan pad, but someone left the gate open. It's not our fault. We were, huh? We were this close to the Hoonigans. Hi, can I get an iced coffee? Ice coffee? <laughs> major need so right now we have a three o'clock appointment with impressive wraps um, so yesterday he did end up meeting with us and had our appointment earlier but we're gonna go back over there and have a quick talk with him we have some more questions and things that we need to find out I'm thinking about wrapping the LS 400 one color and the mark one Cabrillo on the other one if you guys can guess which one it is in the comment section down below I will give you something that I brought back from SEMA so out of the khaki the blue, the green, and the orange over there from Impressive Wraps. If you guys can think what I would be interested in doing, put a little comment down below. On the count of three, I want you to yell GoPro. One, two, three, GoPro! And Spitzo, go! Next! 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 Another day failed. No GoPro wins today. Why can't we win, boys? We need to win. All right, guys, so SEMA day two is kind of coming to an end right now. We are making our way back through all the halls and trying to get back to the Airbnb. So we are going to probably cut the vlog in half and I'm gonna to cut today's SEMA vlog and then go ahead and do a separate vlog for the vinyl wrap party that is tonight. Go, go. Hey guys, as you can see, we are walking back to the Airbnb. But I would like to know what you guys think of the Las Vegas SEMA vlogs. If you guys can leave a comment down below, I would appreciate it. And if I do come back next year, what else would you guys like to see? What content would you like for me to grab for you guys that you can watch at home? Hey, finally back to the Airbnb. Home sweet home. And I forgot to turn off the coffee this morning. Hey man, there's nothing wrong with burnt coffee. We are back from SEMA. We are in the Airbnb. The guys have already gone to their rooms. And as you guys can see, the sun is going down. So today's vlog will be like a two part series. I will finish the vlog here and then tonight I will film another vlog for the vinyl wrap party. But I hope you guys are liking the SEMA series. If you guys haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you guys like the SEMA show so far, leave a comment down below. But like always, no matter how far you get in life, to always remain humble and always try to make a difference. Deuce!